what's my point? My point is simple. It ain't about the numbers or none of that. Like, ignore the numbers I'm talking about. I probably shouldn't even share the numbers. You know what I'm saying? Because that's irrelevant. But what is relevant is when you understand the business and you walk in the door and someone realizes they can't manip manipulate you, then now you are protecting yourself and protecting your finances, which means you could be a better steward. I'm going to end it with this, that I could get more for the car than what it's worth. And he even told me, he was like, you probably the last person I'm buying from because it was about the switch. Go to a car dealership today. Most of the lots are full. The same lots that six months ago were empty. So what's my point? When you're literate and understand, you know that the deal that you would do today is different than the deal six months ago. OK, and I'm using cars because we all drive cars. Six months ago, you could get no incentives. Zero, there were no incentives on cars. As a matter of fact, the new cars were selling so fast. When I was trying to look at new cars, they were telling me like this one is already sold and it ain't even arrived on the lot yet, right? Law of supply and demand. Same exact dealership I go I went to last week. I'm like, wow, they got like 50 to 60 of this car that six months ago was selling so fast. And guess what? This is a luxury SUV that now is they're advertising that is five thousand dollars off, four thousand dollars off. You couldn't even get an incentive. You couldn't even negotiate an incentive on a new car six months ago. You remember when you let go of that mentality, people have to really want to be free of that generational mindset. Mindset. That's facts. Look, at the end of the day, um, this is, you know, today's show was really um, all about wanting to hopefully, um, you know, help people grow beyond um, this poverty mindset and the chains of poverty. And I got a lot more poverty related content coming because I'm declaring this as the year of death to poverty. Like, you know, for me, um, I believe that this is so connected to our faith. And the reason I think that is because as a believer, you need to make good decisions. You need to make sound decisions. And it's better to give than receive. How can you give a good tip to somebody if you always worried about your next bill and you a slave to the money? You, and that, that's what we don't realize. Like, we can't even do good by people a lot of times because when you're in poverty, it causes you to be so focused on yourself. You're in constant need. You can't let go. I don't say that to offend nobody. This ain't never about pointing a finger or offending. I don't know how to help you in poverty if we don't call it by his name. You feel what I'm saying? Because a lot of us is like, you know, it's like if a person is drowning and somebody throwing you a life jacket and you like, why are you throwing me a life jacket? I ain't drowning. It's like, bro, if you don't take this life jacket, if you don't put your pride aside and take this life jacket, you really going to drown. And so all I say is like, yo, we have to put our pride aside and be able to say, yo, fact is I'm in poverty and this ain't normal. And maybe you never even thought about the fact that it ain't normal. And if you care enough, you can learn, educate yourself, listen to this podcast, and hopefully change your life, your family's life. You feel me? 